Everybody else has a better tie break than me. So if I don't win my game, it's not good enough. Yeah, I got Bojan with the white pieces. Let's go for the let's go for glory, you guys. All in. All in. Let's go. I mean, if I win out, I have a chance. But the good news is I have to win out. Did I count the moves? Yeah, I did count the moves. I, I did actually count the number of moves. I counted why did Fava drop out? He probably lost a game or something, or lost two games and doesn't want to play. I missed a fork. No, I didn't miss a fork. There was no fork. Uh, wh why am I? Even, what am I doing? What am I doing, you guys? Why? Why am I like? I'm listening to you guys. I'm like, I'm about to spend ten hours thinking about a blunder. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna end up thinking for like one minute here and just like blunder for no good reason. Go here. Oh, Fabi lost another game, so he's got four points. Yuck. It goes Bishop G5. I do have F6 here. Let me think for a second. I assume I should just go rookie eight. Uh, but then he... I don't really want to play F6 here, but I think it's the best move. I mean, F6 and King H8 is fine, but I think I have to play like this. This isn't what I want to do. 95, there's just Bishop about 4. Oh, I have Bishop about 5. What am I doing? No, oh, great. Now, now I'm just messing up against this 2600 guy. Jeez. I'm going to play an end game or try to play an end game. I'm up a lot of time here, so maybe I can make it work. Bum, bum, bum. Ba -da 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 -dum. At least I get an end game. So, like, now I can try to pretend. Basically, I'm going to have to move fast and try to pretend. It goes there. I mean, I can play C5. I don't really want to. I can also go B5. But I need to win the game. B5 is the only way to try and win. C5 is the other move, but then there's Rick D1, Rick D6. So, this is the only way that I try to win the game. Uh, let's go here on Bishop D5, I guess. Go here. Wait. I don't really want to take. Great, he gets Knight F6, and I just have nothing. Ugh. I guess I have to do this. I don't want to do this, but I have to do this. Those just got a four or something. Trying to think how to play this. Wait, wait, wait. Now I've got this, maybe? I mean, this looks a little bit shaky. Run the king up. Wait, this hangs a pawn? Still a6, though. 
56. How do I even try though? To Oh, great. I blundered again. <sighs> Unreal. Even here he finds G3. Unbelievable. I can force a draw, but... garbage garbage not gonna pretend to be happy with that game oh okay, let's play Kovalev again another bad pairing yeah what happened to Canada <laughs> be aggressive that's like be aggressive do you want me to play the King's Gambit is that what you mean do you want me to play the King's Gambit is that what you want I don't think so um This is what I had against Kovalev earlier. Um, so we're going to play the same one. This is what I played earlier, right? Really? Okay. Interesting. Okay, I mean, I have D4. Got knight h4. Play d4, not d4, d4, knight h4. I'm gonna go for this. Pressure in the center of the board as quickly as possible. Knight h4 is also a move, I think, but this looks very good for me, I think. I actually beat Kovalev in this in the early TT. He's thinking for a long time here, so let's see if I can punish him. Goes to e4. Okay, so of course I go knight h4. 
Ah, he has an idea. Okay. G8. Okay, he has a, he has a legit idea here, which I did not see. If I go F3. No, then he goes F. Ah, uh, did he did he come up with a something? He did. I, I think he came up with something pretty solid here. I do this okay I'm thinking too long maybe I uh, I'm gonna play f four I don't like it but I think I have to do it play for f5 maybe it's still okay because f5 of queen h5 I still have f5 to hit the bishman win the pawn it's a very very messy position but I think I'm okay here I hope I'm okay Oh, Queen H5 has got Queen F6. D1. Hmm. Queen H5, Queen F6 takes, takes, takes. Queen D5, Queen H6. Um. One or D8. I think I'm gonna go for it. I don't know if it works. Oops, let's go here. I'm going all in here. Like, I'm going to win or lose this game right here in the next, like, three or four moves. I think. Yeah, I'm going to go for it. Let's go. G4 and F5. All aboard the choo-choo train. And either, either I break through and win this game or I lose right here. There's no in-between. That's why I'm not talking either. I, it's either I win or I lose right here. I guess I can pre-move F5 in case he takes. I don't. I mean, I don't think he will, but it's a safe pre-move, so why not? It was rook G8. So wait. So now I have G5. Though. Wait. Or do I take? Wait, I've also... Yeah, okay, I guess I have to go G5. I think I'm going to sack, actually. Oh, no, he's got Bishop about 4 Shoot. I could still take and go C4, though. Knight a5, c5, knight, b3, queen f7. Yeah, let's just go for it. Oh dear okay um we got the win okay i don't know what i did there but i made it work um was this okay for me or not let's see uh 97 was good he goes here queen g5 and i'm better okay knight takes d5 wow oh he has bishop f4 here oh my god he just got bishop f4 and i was oh i just resigned I just resign after Bishop F4. Oh, Knight of Five. Oh, Knight of Five is wow. 
Wow, okay, I don't understand chess apparently, but whatever. Um, yeah, I go here, and yeah, he hangs the queen. We got the win, okay. okay. What are the other games? Let's see, it's two people on seven. Okay, let's see, this is important game here. Denlaz needs to draw this game. Like work F3 maybe? No, this is very good. Dennis, Dennis Laz is going to save this. Hey, he's not going to lose at the very least, I guess we should say. Oh, Rook D7. Rook G7. I mean, this looks very scary for, for, uh, for white suddenly or for black suddenly. Apparently Rook E8 to draw, but he's going to go F5. Okay. Takes, takes, King A6. Rook F3. Rook F3, only move. This is probably a draw, if I had to guess. This rook takes. Rook H1. Yeah, it's a draw. H3, H2. Wait, there's check in rook d2? No, it's just a draw. King b8, rook b1, draw. Hazy shade of winter. King f4, and it's just a draw. Oh, wait, rook c2, king g3, rook b1, king g3. Yeah, this will be a draw. Still, still, still rook b1. Okay, game ends in a draw. So what does that mean? Let's take a look at the standings. I think that should be it, right? Any game still going? Let's see. Oh, still quite a few. Let's see. So a bunch of people on seven, by the way. So I'm actually in it to win it. I'm only half point out of first with three rounds left. One, two, three, four, five, six people on seven. So if I can actually keep winning games, I'm going to have a chance to win the tournament. Of course, I get a bad pair. I get Dayak. Uh, I'm going to play something dubious. I have to win this game. Draw is no good. Um, let's play the let's play the two knights tango. Don't know why I played this, by the way. Um, I played this when I was like 15 years old. This is a really oh wait, I'm on the wrong scene. It's not title two. So there we go. Uh, try to remember if e5 is playable here or if I'm supposed to go for like a6. My gut says that I'm supposed to play like rookie in e5. It's been like, I, I mean, the first time I played this two nights tango was like in 2004, maybe or 2005, like literally 20 years ago. So it's been a very long time since I last played the two nights tango. But I think E4, I go E5. I mean, again, I haven't looked at this in like literally 500 years. Um, I assume A6 and Rook B8 should make sense here. If D5, I have 97. You can also take and sack the Rook maybe. It goes Queen D2, logical. At some point, I'm going to have to play E5, I think. Or I can go B6 maybe. I'm going to play b6. This probably is wrong, but I'm trying to just create some imbalance and keep the time moving on the clock. Something like that, like basically. We get d5. Okay, I have knight a5 here maybe. I can also go knight e7. Um, yeah, let's go here and hit the pawn. Okay, now I get e5, and at least now I can kind of pretend to be playing the game. I mean, it's not clear cut, but I can kind of pretend. Okay, bishop g5 is a good move. Or is it? Actually, is it? No, because knight e4, I just take the juicer, and he loses his queen. It's not bad either, but it's... Okay. So I'll go here, just break the pin. I mean, at some point I'm gonna have to go like knight b7, knight a5, I think, or knight c5, but still chances, I think. Still some serious chances. Yeah, let's go here, reroute the horse. I'm a little bit cramped, but so is he. 
Okay, goes there. I can play. I think I should play a5 here. I'm probably king h. I'm gonna take on b4 at some point. Maybe I go rook a8 first. Just trying to. I'm trying to keep the game going here. That's what I'm trying to do desperately. I could take here and then go knight g8. I mean, I guess it's a knight g8. Wait, no. Actually, I should take and go here. And f6. Maybe I reroute the knight at some point. I mean, it's still very, very murky. But I think I'm okay, objectively. I think I'm in the game, at least. With a chance to maybe create more. Um, I guess I go f6 to stop knight g5. Do I have f5? I mean, I kind of feel like I should... Maybe... Okay, I think I'll take. I'm gonna go rook a8, I think. And like rook a3, maybe. <sighs> Let's go here, knight f7, maybe. I mean, he could go c5, but I just take and I'm fine. Okay, plays f4, which actually, to be honest, I'm kind of, I'm kind of happy to see it, because now this is gonna get a little bit messy. Yeah, it's gonna get messy, so I'm, I'm actually very happy to see this. Um, trying to cover the F file. I could go F5, me. Ah, F5 is very interesting here. Um, probably not right though. Could take and play G5. Uh, this is messy. E5, D, E5. I guess I'll go here. Just trying to hold the knights and hold squares here. F5 I can just take though, I think. And then go like knight h6 maybe. Okay, let's just go. Let's just go. I, I don't want to waste time. Oh wait, but he can just take. Oh my god. Oh my god, he can just... He can just take. I probably still should have... Eh, should have played it anyway, but whatever. Okay. I guess I'll go for it anyway. If I can take with a D-pawn and play Rook C8, I think. C5. Okay, I saw that. Can go knight f7. I think I'll just play here. So I can always take and drop back. Goes knight d4. I have rook a3 maybe? Oh, he's just got the... Mm. Okay, he's happy to make a draw here. So I have, he's got three seconds. How do I force the game forward? Three knights, e2, and I just don't have a good move.
How do I do this? Oh. There we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, no. Oh, no, I messed this up. Okay, now there should be one. There we go. There we go. Oof. Okay, way too difficult. Way, way. Where was the. I messed a win somewhere in here. Okay, he blunders the H pawn. H5. What is Rook D? H5. Just H5, H4, H3. Just wins the game. And now it's still better, but it's. Oh, rook chi Oh, no. Do you huh. <clears throat> so it's probably winning here, too. But that was very choppy. It was like up, down, sideways, back and forth all over the place. So we got the win. Seven and a half. Uh, still three guys on eight out of nine, which is very bad. Um, I do get one of them. I get MSB here. Okay, let's play D4. Uh, is he tougher than Ab Abdus Torov? I think Noterbeck is sharper. Um, Dayak is a little bit better positionally. <sighs> That was tough, jeez. That was actually very tough. That game, that game took a lot out of me. That was just a tough, tough game. Let's go here. You almost got hands, I guess. <clears throat> I'll take. I don't know. I, I actually that, that took a lot out of me. I felt really tired. G five, interesting move. Um, <clears throat> slightly wrong. Ah, he's got this trick. And I've already messed this up. Yay. Yay! What am I even doing? Yeah, I've totally bungled this. <sighs> Ugh. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just playing horribly suddenly. <sighs> Wait. Wait a second. Do I have 90? Wait. D2, Queen D2. Queen d2, and I think I'm... He's bishop d7, of course. New York. New York. Guess I'll go here on bishop d3, probably. There might be some h4, knight g5 nastiness, but I don't see it, so... I'll go here to trade off some b-shops. Wait, I'm thinking too long again. I mean, I've got tricks, I think. There's some Knight of Five Nasty, this is lurking. Let's see what we get.
Or I've also got H. Okay, let's take. I'm wondering if I can play H4 here, actually. Like. Okay, this is where I should use all my time. Okay, so h4, bishop d4. Knight of 5, h5. Ah, I feel like there's some way to be winning, but I don't... I'm just going to go here. I'm not sure. I feel like there's some way that I should be winning. Like h4, g4, knight g5, maybe? Rook e8. But it's still knight f6. <sighs> come on, come on. This should be good for me, but uh, I'm thinking too long. I don't know. Brook d one's probably wrong too. Ah, <sighs> messed it up. <clears throat> Spent all that time and I came with the wrong idea. Good. It's a very apt song this point. Boy, isn't it? Uh, da -dum. Um. This looks wrong. I can take and go king d2, maybe. It looks ridiculous. I'm gonna go to f1. I, I feel like I've got this hook on f5. This hooked square looks really good. I think here. Looking at the city. Of course he spots this. Um, hmm. That's really annoying. I don't think I can, I can't afford to draw, so I'm gonna go here. I can't afford a draw. I, th I think I can trade and play with a small edge, but I don't think I'm going to win that position. Okay, I can go H. No, I think I go here. Okay, now I've got H4. Okay, Queen H. Ooh, I'm winning. I'm winning. I've got Queen H2. Knight C, 95, Knight C4 might have been okay. I think I'm winning now. Because they're... I mean, this, this, Knight of 5? I mean... Ah, why did I allow that? Oh, I had Rook H6, which is winning. Ah, oh, Rook H6 was just winning, too. Rook H6 was just winning. I'm messing this up. I don't believe this. Oh, he blunders. Oh my god. Oh my god, that was so dangerous. I'm 
Oh yeah, yeah. Where was the Rook H6 was so was just winning? And I didn't play it. I mean, this is so dumb by me. Rook H6 just wins. I played a great game, and Rook H6 just ends the game. Oh, Queen H6. It's mate and ah oh, yeah yeah. Whatever, we got the win. Everybody else is a better tie break than me. So if I don't win my game, it's not good enough. Yeah, I got Bojan with the white pieces. Let's go for the let's go for glory, you guys. All in. All in. Let's go. I get white. Let's see if I can play. Wait, what? Is this on purpose? Wait, this line, I'm trying to remember what's correct. This is I remember. Ali Rez has played this against me. This is supposed to be better for white. Go E5. Did I accidentally I think I accidentally transposed into a line that's not great. Yeah, I accidentally transposed into a line of the French that's not not great for white. You know, it's funny, the first time I studied this was all the way back uh, during the U.S. Championship, I believe in 2003, if I remember correctly. I was looking at this for blacks. So I was playing the French a lot at the time. Okay, Queen C7 looks a little bit strange. I, I mean, I maybe it's fine. I, I just, I don't care. Takes, okay. Um, go Queen E2. I think rookie one is supposed to be correct. He has queen b6, but I'm not really worried. I just go like queen e2 and knight a4. I also have queen d2, and I think it should be for a strange move. Does bishop b4 actually do anything? I'm a little I'm a little confused as to what the point of bishop b4 is. But I'm also talking way too much. Let's just go back. I don't know. If he wants to take he Oh, did I just wonder D under d4 I might have it goes there logical let's play um I'll go here guard the pawn temporarily I mean I think I'm better here actually I think I'm much better he's got a bad light square bishop I assume I go h4 to stop g5 okay logical a key that I need to play for is I think I need to bring my bishop back around here I think I need the bishop on d4 specifically. Not concerned I go here. Okay, logical. I'm trying to win this pawn. I don't think I'm really worried about the pawn. I think I just I'm just gonna go all in with Queen G3. Yeah, like I, I mean at this point I have to win. If I don't win this game, I'm not even finishing top two. So, like, why am I afraid of this pawn? Like, why? I should not be afraid. Okay, it goes there. I can also go knight d2. No, I think rookie three looks correct. Try to bring all the pieces. Bring the boys to the party here. Knight b5, I mean... Somehow I'm not very worried by that move. Maybe I should be. Probably I should be, or should I? Wait a second, come on. A4. No, then he takes and goes knight c6, and I don't have three. I feel like I'm misplaying this for some reason. Wow, that's not what I expected. Got, got to be honest, I feel like... Okay, wait. G3, rook G3, rook G8. Rook G8, I have this bishop H7 tickle, and I think I'm winning. Let's see. I think boy Boyan, right? That's how you pronounce it. I think he made a fairly serious mistake here. I mean, I don't really want to trade, but I think I have, uh, I could also, no, no, let's just trade. Knight f3 also a move, but I think I need to put massive pressure here. So if I, t wait, okay, bishop g6 takes takes 
I'm threatening rook f3. So it takes, 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 takes. I'm threatening here, threatening here. Queen h7, queen g3, and rook g7. Oh, wait, queen f7, rook f3. Queen f7, rook f3, queen f3 is fine. No, I can't do it. I'm gonna go here and just overload. I almost blunder with takes, 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 because queen f7, rook f3, sack the queen, rook g8. <sighs> wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Could have gone rook f3, rook f6 too. Probably I should go h5 maybe at some point too. h5 to force, it was there. Wait, so now, wait, now if I sack, wait, 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 wait a second. Takes, takes to d4, rook f3, check, check, check. Ah, I don't know it works. No, wait, no, rook f3 doesn't. I guess I'm going as uh, a mistake, of course. Stupid. Okay, I, I can put the rook on f6 at least. I am better here. Whether I'm winning is a separate question altogether. Gotta move. That's a blunder. I think I'm winning now. There we go. Yes, let's go. Let's go. We get the win. Let's go. Let's watch Velji. He's still playing. Hans is winning. Yes. Hans man is winning. Yes, Velji can't win. 95. Yes, let's go. Yes, good job, Hans. Thank you. Let's go. Hans won, right? Yeah. Okay, Hans won. Yeah. Yes, excellent. Good. Great stuff. All right, you guys. Looks like we go, we go, we go, and we win it. And I think I, I gained like no points. Yeah, not funny. Anyway, there we go. There we go, you guys. We do get the win. Nine and a half points out of 11. First place. Uh, second place is Bojan. Third place is Hans Neiman. Fourth place is uh, Serana. Fifth is uh, Bluebaum. So we end up getting the win um, in Title Tuesday. A very, very tough event. Um, but we get our $1,000 win by a score of nine and a half with nine and a half out of 11. So very, very good. On that note, you guys, I'm tired. I'm gonna call it a day. It's been it's been a fun stream. I've had a good time with all of you guys, but really I'm too tired to do MasterChef or anything else. So I'm gonna call it a day. We're gonna send the raid over to the uh, to Ari and Taru streaming on Chess Bra. And I will see all of you guys tomorrow, I think around like nine o'clock or maybe ten, nine o'clock Eastern. So we're gonna start early. We have a nice long stream planned here on Kick. So uh, we're gonna have fun, play Arena Kings, do everything else. So I will see you guys tomorrow morning. Hope you enjoy the stream. Have a great rest of your Tuesday evening. And I'll see you bright and early tomorrow on Wednesday. Have a good one. Bye.